What's going on everybody? It's time for another advanced Sparks Notes comic review. This time we've got Scout's Honor number four from David Popose, Luca Castellanguida, and Aftershock Comics. Stay tuned for that. First, guys, please, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below, and like the video. Welcome back everybody. Let's get into this review of Scout's Honor number four from Aftershock Comics. Of course, this is written by David Popose, who was on the show the other day uh, with Caroline and myself doing an interview. Uh, art by Luca Casalinguida, colors by Matt Milla, and letters by Carlos Mangual. This issue just ramps up on all of the action so if you are hoping for more action you will be very happy with this issue lots of action and what he said on the show uh on thursday absolutely true about this this is a kit centric story we get a little bit of des but it's very kit centric um and it's following kits uh what kit does after she gets discovered by um, the rest of the Eagle Guard uh, going up to the tower and finding out that um, they've been selling weapons to the highwaymen and, um, you know, really revealing and seeing the rest of the video that the scouts were the ones that killed the founder that they revere so much and he tried to prevent them from uh, escaping. Uh, and so she takes that knowledge with her and she's out in the Badlands. She is on her own using her scouting morals and principles to survive. Um, and if you guys don't like spiders, I'm sorry, but we not only have a spider, we have a hell spider. And you see it on the cover, but it's even more uh dastardly crazy looking on the inside um as as with every issue luca continues to do an amazing job on the interior art um Weeblo and kit are out there in the badlands and you can tell that it is very serious and that their life uh well kit's life is is at at risk and you know we could just blow off and get destroyed or something um but it is crazy how much the action ramps up in this. I mean, it is expected. This is the penultimate issue of Scout's Honor. Um, secrets of who she really is. Um, that comes up. I'm not going to spoil too much here because I want you guys to go pick this up on Wednesday, April 14th from your local comic shop. Um, there is just a lot of action and that's really all i can say um we're gonna see some more highwaymen that's that's another thing i can say about this those highwaymen um we saw them before and we saw that they immediately reacted to uh the scouts as an enemy and uh we find out more about why that's happening um, why are the scouts and the highwaymen always in conflict and why isn't there more, uh, peace to the area, you know, um, cohesiveness in fighting against the creatures out there in the badlands and trying to rebuild the world. You think that would be a scouting thing that they'd want to do, but something bad is happening that's causing this conflict and we find out why this is happening and Kit is working to fix all of this and bring the world back together. Um, the scouting principles come back into play in this, like I said, and I think that really does take Kit down a path that is going to, uh, I mean, it shows a lot of her character, and uh, I'm hoping that in issue five, we get to see that play out in a good way 
uh, with her uh, return, potentially, you know, uh, reuniting with Dez. Hopefully, Dez isn't too far gone into the um, really trying to live up to what his dad wants him to be. Um, and I think if if he can overcome that, uh, Kit and him can, uh, you know, become on the same side of things again and put the world back together. But um, I can also see this ending with a really disastrous end to their relationship and their friendship. Um, and uh, Dez really trying to just be what his dad wants him to be, even though he is so far beyond what his dad um, wants him to be. So this is uh, a little bit of an emotional issue, a little bit of uh, a lot of bit of an action issue, and we really get to the core of why why there's a problem between the highwaymen and and the scouts. So I'm really excited to pick up a physical copy of this on Wednesday. Um, so go ahead and if you haven't already, on Wednesday pick up issues one through three and then pick up four as well so you can be caught up on the action in the story. This is an excellent read. You can go back and watch my previous uh, reviews of Scout's Honor. I have reviewed issues one, two, and three. So this will get you all caught up. And then issue five uh, is not too long away. We'll see the conclusion. So thank you everybody for watching this advanced review for Scout's Honor number four from Aftershock Comics. Uh, as always, collect what you love. I'll see you guys next time.